Hey everybody, Mike Frazier from Miller Industries. Today we're up here in Hermitage, Pennsylvania, they being a new product for our carrier line. Yeah, Mike, this is our carrier recovery attachment. It goes on 10, 12, and 16 series steel carriers that were manufactured 2018 and newer. If you have an older carrier, it can be retrofitted, but if it's 2018 and newer, it should adapt just fine. With that being said, steel, zinc plated, got some rollers on the bottom side, we got a tab that goes in your chain lock and a couple tabs down here to keep it secured to the bed. So with that, I'm going to have Mike show you how to take your existing carrier bed, remove the plug, install this, and we got a scenario set up and he's going to show me how to use it. The first thing you're going to need is a 9 16 hex bit on a ratchet to pull the plug out of the carrier bed. Simply remove the plug out of the bed. You'll no longer need it. You can throw it away. Get your one inch coarse thread tap. Run the tap in and out of here a few times, or maybe Loctite in there to clean it up so the machined bolt can go in and out very easily. As Kip explained a little earlier, it has the notches that the carrier bed fits in. This plug fits in right in the uh, chain tie downs. When you put it in, you simply slide it on the edge of the bed. When it falls into place, you take the bolt out of the storage spot. Simply screw it into the carrier bed. You do not need to go get a wrench and tighten this down. Hand tight is more than sufficient. And now you're ready to operate this thing. Now that we have the attachment installed, we're gonna feed the wire rope through the device, pull it on through, and go out to the casualty. So now that we have the recovery device installed on the bed, on this carrier, we have 50 feet of wire rope. It's not enough to reach it, so we had a 20 foot 3 8 grade 80 chain on the truck, so we utilize that to reach the casualty. On the casualty, we have a 3 8 grade 70 V bridle hooked to the rear axle of the truck. So what we're going to have to do on this scenario is we will have to winch it some, block it from rolling back down, pull the wire rope back out, and winch it again. Just because it it's only has 50 feet of wire rope on that wire rope drum, you always want to make sure you have that minimum of five wraps on there, or it will pull out. Now that we've talked about the casualty over here, let's talk a little bit about the truck setup. One of the biggest misconceptions when it comes to recovery with carriers, any carrier, is that when it comes out of them bed locks and you start winching down on that thing, that is gonna torque that subframe so bad and it's gonna wanna pull that bed sideways. So you never ever wanna take this bed out of them bed locks in front while you're winching off the back of it like this. This unit here is equipped with a 4,000 pound rated underlift on it. I put the underlift down to give this thing a little bit more stability because we are going to be winching off the side. If I wanted to double up them wire rope to bring it back to the truck, I could simply take this safety chain, go underneath that underlift, come put the snatch block in the casualty, come back to this chain under the underlift that's going to give you that low pull. You double up your working low limit on your lines just by doing that. This certain unit here is not equipped with a dock stabilizer combination wheel lift on it, but if it was, I would simply install these spades so we could dig into the soft ground and give me a little bit more resistance while pulling. All right, now let's recover this thing. But just remember, if we were on the side of the road, there's no way I would want to be on the driver's side of this thing for the traffic coming by. And if there was a piece of something to break, that you're going to be right in the line of where that wire rope should come. So I'm going to go on the passenger side of this thing today, even though there's no traffic, just for my own safety. All right, now let's put this new attachment to the test and see how it works. I got this Durango over here in the ditch. I did get the steering wheel straight. I tied it with the seat belt so the front tires didn't get all cattywampus when it was coming out of the, the hole. So let's give it a tap, pull, tug and see how it does. Simply engage the winch. As you can see, the wire rope is going through the device. The roller is rolling just fine. There is a grease fitting on top. You're going to want to keep that thing well maintained. And we're just going to winch this thing. We're going to want to make sure that you're not getting into the carrier bed when you are winching it. You're going to want to make sure that that wheel lift is down to give it some stability. And this thing is pulling this out without an issue at all. So I'm going to pull it up as far as I can with this wire rope so I get close to the recovery device. I'll stop, I'll freewheel the winch, and I'll put it back out there again straight to the bridle just so I can keep winching it up. I can hook directly right to my V bridle. Simply gonna run the, the lever down and keep winching this casually up to the edge of the road here. And the device works perfect. Pulls it right up to the edge of the road how I want it. 
No strain whatsoever. Hey Kip, thanks for your assistance today. I'm gonna go load this thing up and take it back to the storage yard and get it out this brand new carrier. Awesome, sounds good. Mike, thanks again for helping us demonstrate the new accessory item available on your 10, 12, and 16 series steel carriers. If you have any questions, contact the Miller Industries distributor. As always, on our website, subscribe to our news feed to stay up to date with all the tips and tricks from Miller Industries. This video is for product demonstration purposes only and is not intended for training or instructional purposes. Situations vary and operators should rely on their own professional knowledge and safety procedures when conducting actual recoveries. Miller Industries, the world leader in towing and recovery equipment.